is the GV Podcast, a variety review podcast featuring two of the three idiots giving their thoughts on cartoons and anime. This is an opinion-based podcast, and there's no way we're saying our thoughts and opinions are objective. Keep this in mind and enjoy the show. And that's how I won a million dollars. I said too much. Hello, everybody! My name's Mayhem! I'm Jitsu. I'm Duke. And today, we've got something a little bit special. This is in a part one, right? No. Okay. I wasn't sure. I forgot to ask at the beginning. It's again. good to ask. It's good to ask. <laughs> We're talking about the post Chimera and arc of Hunter Hunter. Yeah. Basically, the final episodes. The because final we don't. We don't know if we'll get any more. In all fairness. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Yeah. No, it's 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 definitely weird because like this is the last episodes, kinda. Like when it, you think it, about it, it like definitely because feels of the like chapters. It definitely also felt like an epilogue sort of felt feel like to conclusion. it. Uh, like an epilogue and then also what happens at the end, like the setup, what is going to happen. Yeah. So I'll I'll be able to tell you some some of the like craziness that is like afterwards. Because it's like you've got all this stuff, um uh, when it comes to uh the final episodes, and it's like, okay, where can you go from there? He went, and that's the reason why people are upset about the fact that he pushes himself to uh, the point of being sick. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's also the issue, too, is just w- with what we have from after... Uh, like, it's basically just f- coming out of the one of the best arcs in anime. Just, it, it's, it, it feels too good to try and go after, to, like, follow up what chimera ant was yeah and and jinsu i know that you definitely do not val uh, definitely don't want to watch this section of hunter hunter i was too lazy <laughs> i i just didn't do it i should that too i should have but uh, well from what it looked like it looked at those parts uh, partially like being lazy but also the fact that it was like well how do you go past that yeah like how do you surpass that and the answer is they didn't but it was cool but it was cool. It was definitely... It's definitely the uh, after... <laughs> Ow. Sorry. You got mad about that one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, just... Sorry. But uh, it's definitely going from... Going from <laughs> Chimera Ant to anything that... It's essentially, you're going from Chimera Ant to just anything. And it's to, like, to back to no the... matter what, you're... To back to, the, back to... Back to formula. That's what I wanted to say. Back to formula. We're going. Uh, we went back to formula, and that in after Chimera Ant was so top tier. Yeah, it, it's kind of hard to really surpass that. To, n- no, not so much surpass that, but keep the energy, keep what what it was. And even and I'm actually surprised to actually fu- like after saying that I have something that definitely matches that same energy. Destiny, the. The Witch Queen campaign, yeah, like revived the fran- uh, revived everybody's enjoyment of it, but then immediately after the the Lightfall campaign that came out afterwards, that expansion was back to formula. But Witch Queen was so good and brought in so many people that when Lightfall fell short of that, people were like, "What the hell? I thought this was supposed to be good." Yeah. Like I thought this was going to be good all the time. And definitely Hunter Hunter falls in that same category of uh it's just not going to be as good ever again. This is going to be the one good thing. Yeah. And everything else is going to be all right. <laughs> I hate to say when it comes down to it, when it comes to Hunter Hunter, uh I feel it has the best arc of any anime ever. I'll say that. Yeah. Chimera Ant is one of the best arcs of any anime ever. Uh, only problem I would say is basically the rest of it is, uh, like so average that you're stuck there. Like, okay. Uh, you, you know, you know what I mean? I'm like, it's like, uh, it, sit through all this and then get the best arc ever. Yeah. It, it's from what I have like, cat- uh, what I've categorized for the hunter hunter arcs is that like from what we've done with every, ep- uh, with every time that we've done, we talked about Hunter Hunter. It's that it's like the first one was all right. Heaven's Arena, great. Greed Island, not as good. And then oh. Chimera Ants, amazing. The best way to put it, uh, now that I remember the arcs, it would be uh, essentially low when it comes to the first arc. Yeah. 
middle with Heaven's Arena, uh, high with uh, York New, and then back to low with Greed Island, and then high with Chimera Ant, and then back to middle. Back to middle, yeah. That's how I describe it. That is that no matter what it is, the fact that after Chimera Ant you get this like little epilogue style like side story, side quest. It, this one definitely feels like a side quest after after basically the their mag uh, the oh, Magnum the, Opus. Yeah, the Magnum Opus of the author. What's yeah. the name of the author again? Uh let me find it real quick. I'm just glad that we truncate silence so my long drawn out silences aren't mm-hmm. noticed. Let me see. Mm. Uh, Yoshihiro Tagashi. Tagashi, okay. That Tagashi, like, basically it's... This is definitely the, okay, we're done now, I'm chill, I'm able to be chill now, and all that kind of stuff. It's just... Just overall, just able to be relaxed and making a chill side story that is still vital to the overall plot of the show, but... It doesn't help that when it comes to this next arc, basically, of it was... You had Chimera Ant, which sounds so weird of like, you're going in, it's like, what the hell could that be? You hear how big it is. And it's like, what the hell could this be? Watch it. Amazing. Amazing. Right after that, 12 episodes, election arc. Yeah, (laughs) election. What? Like, when you hear that, you're like, wait, what? It's like, it seems so much lesser in comparison. It it definitely downplays. And that's the the problem. The fact that this was like, after, since it, it 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 very much was in the wake of devastation that happened from Chimera Ant and like the whole thing and losing what's his face the old man the yeah. ma- the, the president like losing all oh, of that man. kind of stuff. I thought of a comparison. What? Uh, One Piece the way it goes from like Water Seven Thriller Bark, Marineford yes. Fishman Island. Yes, that it's like it it's more of a side. I think story. One Piece handles it a little better. It's a side story, but it still is Important. able to. Yeah. But but with Hunter Hunter, it's just like it, it's going from a ten of intensity down to four. While with it went One down Piece, to two or two, yeah. And what meanwhile, One Piece goes down to six. The biggest intensity of the arc is just in the previous arc, Gon was hurt bad. Gon was hurt bad, and, and it's so, like going to die if not special shit was going to happen. And Kilua has a method that could work. And so the entire arc is him getting that method to go. Yeah. And so it's like, that's the stakes. Once that ends, the stakes are gone. Like completely. I have to say completely. Yeah. Because that's the last few episodes of the series. It definitely felt like when Gone was hurt like that, it felt like it was going to be like a whole, everybody needs to come together to, in order to get whatever it was that was going, that Kilo knew that was going to be able to help Gon, that it was going to take everybody. But no, it was just Kilua. And that, but that if everybody was there, it probably would have been much more effective of a, of a post story. But since it was just Kilua, it just felt like a side story. Jinsu, what is, what is your thoughts about watching something after Chimera Ant and why wouldn't you? <laughs> um, well, I mean, I kind of already said why, but, but, but like, 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 I think, I think w- w- based off what you guys are saying, I don't think it's totally a bad thing that the story kind of slows down a bit, especially after Chimera and Dark. I think starting over and like kind of starting to build up again is really important, but like, I didn't watch it, so I don't know if they actually did that. Do they do that? Do they build up anything? Do they... They slow down, but then towards the end, they uh, basically teased what could happen next. Which is basically what chapters came out after this, right? And, and of, it's uh, definitely the, it called the Dark Continent arc, right? It's definitely like they weren't able to expressly set up something. It's more of just like here's the premise for what could ha- be happening next. Mm. If like here, here's what no, your two, is... here's what your two main characters are, and it's Gon and not Kilua. I was gonna say, in all fairness, when it comes to this arc, it's ju- it truly feels like the finale. Especially with the fact that by the end of the story, Gon has his goal. Done. Oh, yeah. He finally... Yeah, he gets what he wants at the very end. And that is exactly what you Gene. exactly what you don't want to happen unless you're ending the character. Ash. Yeah. He finally became a Pokemon master. He's done now. <laughs> yeah. No, like you saw with Ash. Like he became a uh, uh, the ultimate master. And then uh, what does he do with the last few episodes? Essentially tie up a few loose ends. Yeah. And that's it. He's done. And and that's exact and this, this is the Gone felt like he did. The Gone ha- does have some 
loose ends that aren't tied up yet that if the next arc that does get made if it does if it does get made if. it definitely would be the last one it hurts to know that like his wife may take over in the future like might it have hurts to take over yeah. might have to take over that it's so unfortunate to hear that he's sick like once again whenever i talk about this show it just feels it feels like oh it's so good sad because like you know that it might not ever finish yeah yeah it, it was it, it's kind of like the opposite direction but the same result with berserk i would expect jinzu the whole like now wonder, wondering yeah. if the manga was going to continue or not yeah yeah i mean there there was that fear like right after he died everyone was like okay berserk's over it's we, you know we we waited and we waited but you know it couldn't happen. Yeah. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. It but is. like, but then the the team was like, no, we're gonna finish it. We have the the framework and everything, and like how how it's gonna end. So, so there's been new Berserk chapters every like month or so. Have uh, have, 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 have they been well received so far? Not actually. Actually, like it's it's kind of um, it's. Have you been reading them? Yeah, I've been reading them. It's, how do you like them? I I like them. I like them. I think it's. I think it's a fits with the story. Yeah, fits with the story. It's just a little. It's hard to to connect the pacing of it and to stay as connected to what's going on when I'm reading it because it, everything, every chapter is so far apart. Yeah. So you, you kind of have to like, you kind of have to like read back and like kind of like think about it and like catch up mentally. That's also the unfortunate thing about a lot of uh like manga out there. Of there's a lot of manga out there that release monthly, which good for the health of the author. Bad for some of the readers because uh, often they forget stuff. That's why I don't like the idea of chapters, of like chapters being the only way to like experience it. It should be Cha like, like it should be more of like the volume gru gru volumes, if not groups of chapters, like close enough to That's, a volume. Yeah, and because it's just like it also puts less stress on the author. The better way to put it is it's the Japanese equivalent of releasing an issue a month or an issue a week. Basically, yeah, like, it's a comic book. Well, then, even with uh, American writers, like, they they release an issue every month. And sometimes it feels like they're releasing less than what a lot of Japanese authors do. That's kind of weird, isn't it? It's weird, but I still don't think that's a real problem. Because they're able to, fin they're able to work on it and spend the time and therefore not basically use up their their soul, basically. They're not, they're not, they're not... Even though they enjoy it, and I'm pretty sure I'm not like, yeah. like I'm not trying to say anything against it or like trying to, so what you call it? it, it trying to say anything. Like, against put them on it. blast. Yeah, yeah. It's just it it makes sense that they should take a break and get out like what what they, like get out a spree of here's the part of the story that I have. Let me take a break. Let me get out this spree of story that I have and just like let them chill and. And also get out the story and be able to get out all of the story instead of dying. I got to see this and uh, so a few things I'll be able to mention of one. I got to see this with uh, One Piece, how uh, it releases weekly. Yeah. People are starting to really hope that it releases biweekly so that they have a break so they can um, uh, do as good as they have, basically. Yeah. And so far, it's looking like it is kind of progressing in that way of like basically great episode. Uh, like set of great episodes and then a uh, week break of like recap or something like that. Yeah. And then next episode, uh, really good. I've been okay. seeing that. Uh, when it comes to uh, creators in Japan, it, it's just small, almost unrelated note, but I just thought it was kind of funny. Of uh, man, I'm really happy when it comes to Japanese creators. Of they don't have the usual problem that a lot of uh, American comic book creator creators have. What do they have the problem of? Oh. I'm writing this character. This is what they're supposed to do. Oh, that character's not doing this anymore because another writer in a crossover said no? Okay. Because someone else I had else to said... change my entire fucking story. God damn it. <laughs> my what? Uh, Marvel Comics does that all the time. Of They have crossovers that change characters in the middle of runs of characters. Because because they needed... Because they, they Someone had to stop you doing this crossover with Hulk and Doctor Strange because Hulk was needed for the Avengers comic I'm, that was being made right then and there. I'm gonna be so they have to take out Hulk and put in Thing. I'm going to be 100%. Um, Marvel Comics and clear. DC Comics are starting to die because of that trend of to the point when the only way that they're able to get any like uh, 
notice of like, oh, people are going to buy our stuff, right? Is when they announce major plot points in random articles on their websites. Oh, God damn it. Of just like, hey, you're going to want to buy this because Kamala Khan is dying. What? Man, that's crazy. I'm not going to buy that. That, by the way, that was an actual article that came out like last week. God damn it. <coughs> anyway, getting into the story. What exactly happens okay. in the episodes of Hunter x Hunter? I want to summarize this as best as possible of like, I can do this pretty quick, honestly, because it's only 12 episodes of it's essentially there's the A plot. There's the B plot. A plot is you have uh, Kilua wanting to save Gon. And so he goes off to find his sibling who apparently has this power of granting wishes and uh, basically trying to get his little sister away from the rest of the family who want to abuse that power. And so it's this whole journey of him getting uh, his little sister to Gon. A uh, lot of uh, twists and turns. Like, there's this new nanny that's introduced that was, like, one of the main people to have raised Kilua. Yeah. And she watches over him the entire time. It uh, has one point when uh, Kilua runs away and she turns into a car. It's really funny. What? <laughs> she turns into a car, yes. She turns into a car. And just real nice of, like, she is the one who cares for Kilua the most as she's trying to help him out as he's making his way to Gon. Uh, B-plot is the Hunter chairman election arc. Because uh, who is going to supersede, what's his face? Netero. He, Netero, because he died. Because he blew himself up with a nuke. Basically, kids. what ends up happening <laughs> is the main people that are fighting for the role of chairman are what are known as, what, the 12 Zodiac, right? Zodiac, yeah. Yeah, the 12 Zodiac, obviously, and they take the Chinese Zodiac. They take their their zodiacs too seriously like some of them like the rat is a rat the, look, the, looks exactly like a rat guy and i just hate it well no rat guy is the only one that doesn't look like the right guy but the dog one looks like the dog girl looks like a dog face it's uh, like the uh it's like the the pre it's like the in dragon ball all the animal people are just regular people who yeah. took a drug to change himself into animals but yeah basically the crux of it <laughs> is that that's the... That's the... They took a drug that made him into animals, so yeah. Yeah. That's the Chinese. President Dog took drugs, yes. Banger. Yes. Uh, no, it... Funny enough, you find that out partially through, like, a game like Dragon Ball uh, Kakarot. <laughs> uh, Kakarot, that game. That is weirdly canon. It's... It's weird. Did you know there's an entire... There's a mini game in that game that's... Or not, not a mini game. There's a uh, side quest in that game where what ends up happening is... Um, you find out that Yamcha got a new girlfriend, <laughs> but then also got a side piece. What? And so both girls get pissed and unleash a death bot on him. Jesus Christ. Stupid ass Yamcha didn't learn his fucking lesson. No, he didn't. And it becomes extra funny when they go off and it's kind of implied that they went off together. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Yamcha, you lost your first girl by cheating on her and she took all your money. Second girl... He didn't have any money. Second girl and third girl went off together. Yeah, she took all of her money. Don't you remember the, the Team Fortress? Oh, yeah. Or the Team Four Star? She took all your... <laughs> her money. She took all her money. She's she like, Jesus Christ. I need a sensu for that one. I need a sensu for that one. But yeah. But, uh, yeah. When it came to uh, the chairman election arc, basically there was a whole thing of, like, the main four people that were featured in this were... Uh, the dog one, Cheadle, uh, the rat dude who Don, was like, huh? Don Cheadle? Yes, Don <laughs> Cheadle was running for chairman. Hell yeah. Uh, there was the rat of the Zodiacs. Uh, basically, he was second in command for uh, Netero. He was rat in the other way. Yeah. Politician. <laughs> and then the th uh, third one was uh, Gene, uh, Gon's father, obviously. And finally, Jingling. it was uh, Leorio. Yeah, Leor Leorio had... Uh, this was definitely his return and also best arc. <laughs> and, yeah, no, he has a lot of cool moments, this arc, where basically the reason he got involved in this was because he ran up on Gene and uh, during him. the, uh, like, interview thing and was like, hey, how about you go see your son who's basically dying in the hospital? If he was so Did strong, he wouldn't be dying. Did he tell you to do this? Yeah, did, did he ask Oh, that's you? him, motherfucker. And he punches uh, down, and it uh, teleports his punch over to Gene, uh, and socks him in the face. Yeah, he's got, like, portal powers. 
Leroy has like yeah. punching portal power. It's so cool. I remember. I remember that was like the first scene I saw of Hunter Hunter was him was Leroy doing that. <laughs> and like my entire time watching Hunter Hunter, I'm like. When, when does, does that Le- happen? When the fuck does Leorio get portal powers? <laughs> Literally at the end. Last ten episodes. <laughs> Literally at the end. But uh, there's we that. got him off screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it showed it off the aftermath of it. Hey, he was busy with doctor school. <laughs> with doctor school. But uh, when it comes to uh, Leorio, that is funny enough the point when he almost became chairman of people voted for him because... Yeah, fuck Gene. <laughs> Cuz that's every, literally their reasoning. Everybody dislikes Gene and it is the most funniest thing ever. It is so funny. Uh so back to the whole story. Yeah, by the way, Leorio's whole story at that point is he's running for chairman solely so that he can get the funds to help out uh Gone. Gone, yeah. Because at first, Leorio was just like, I don't even want to do this. <laughs> and then he realized, "Oh wait, I'm doing I can it get- just for Gone." And then he realized, oh, yeah, I could just get a shitload of money. Yeah, no, he even says... It's Politicians! Not he, it wasn't even, I think, money. I think it was actually, he was just like, we're going to charge in there and we're going to help out Gone. And he's like, all of you? Okay. But uh, back to Gone and Kilua's story, he brings his sister over and uh, her whole thing about the wish is that uh, basically the way she casts wishes is that after you complete a few... Uh, orders of hers. Yes. Uh, if you request, she will grant you a wish using her other personality. What? Yeah. She goes into another personality, this horrifying demonic being, and makes you any wish. Okay. Dep- <laughs> depending on the uh, severity of your wish, the next request to the next person are even worse. Like, uh, like oh, give me a hug. Give me... Your your half of the sandwich. There was the one of like, give me a hu- uh, like uh, uh, like oh, I wish for just like a simple hug or something like that. Yeah. And she's like, okay, and grants the wish. And next person just like, can you give me a hug? Can you uh, uh, uh like scratch my back? Can you do this? It's like, okay, I'll grant you any wish. Million dollars. I want a million dollars. Okay. Million dollars fly from the sky, and uh, she gets her money. Goes to the next girl. Can you give me your kidney? Well, uh, I really can't do that. Can you give me your heart? I can't do that either. Can you give me your skull? I can't do that either. Ah! And <laughs> then she explodes. Yep. The, the, if the, like, you don't fulfill the request, you just die. You just die. As well as a number of people, depending on the severity. So it's like, if if it was like heart, kidney, and skull, that's like oh. technically like five people. Even worse, it goes based off of basically it kills you, then it kills the person closest to you, and the person after that closest to you. Yeah, so that means... Up to 50 people sometimes. So, so literally, if Kilua doesn't do things correctly, like according to those rules, Gon would literally just die. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, Gon would it die would, That and... would be the case if it weren't for the fact that apparently Kilua can do it without fulfilling a request because his sister just loves him. Yeah. Big brother! Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, literally, he just, just doesn't adores have to do it. Him. And so it's like, I don't have to fulfill the request because uh, she loves me. Yeah, it's, it, it's just like, oh, man, you're not going to do it? Okay. And that's it. <laughs> it's literally my kid sister. I mentioned the... <laughs> yeah. What is she going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I mentioned the nanny earlier. That was actually... A, there was actually a plot point about that when it came to the whole, like, request thing. Of the nanny was the one to pop up and do the whole request thing so that no one else would. Yeah. Like, but she f- fulfilled one request. What, what was Can you give me your nail? Your fingernail? And she just give me goes, your fingernail? She, okay. okay. <laughs> Rips off fingernail, hands it to her. It's, li- it's literally Some just... Some people are hard like that, man. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> she, so she's she, just like, yep. <laughs> and then she says, I'm going to go into hiding before she makes another request. That way that no one else can get request. Meanwhile, she's still And doing... she's like, that's... And everybody else is like, that's really smart. Okay, go. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Go she, ahead. So Kilua goes through this whole thing of like the family trying to mess with him in order to get the sister back. It's just and it finally ends. shows what is wrong with the assassin family and just everything. How, it just how selfish they all are. Yeah, and Kilua is just like Jesus it, Christ, guys. <laughs> part of it was kill her so that when when they can't fulfill the request, just. Uh, uh, everybody in the family dies. Yeah, that that she would be the one 
to kill all of the family members because of someone not following the wish or something like that. Yeah. Mm. And so what ends up happening is obviously Kilo makes it to Gon and Gon is destroyed. Gon is a raisin. We don't even see his face. We just see his arm yeah. and it's a raisin. It's ridiculous. Uh, he used his entire soul. Yep. Yeah. And now Kilo has brought his wish sister. To fix everything. Uh, I wish for him to be fixed. He gets fixed in the greatest display you ever see. And so Kilua gets fixed. Or, sorry, Gon gets fixed. Gon gets fixed. <laughs> and afterwards, Kilua goes to sit with his sister and says, Okay, uh, I want you to go away now. Like, to the other personality, I want you to go away. Uh, no more wishes. Like, no more wishes. She gets really sad. Like, looks like she's about to cry. And goes away. And the... Original personality of sister pops in. You were mean to her. I hate you. You gotta say sorry. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I can find the name of the sibling. Uh... I, I still find it so funny that it's just the entire time that they're trying to survive their family of a assa- of elite assassins. Meanwhile, Akila and his sister is just chill. <laughs> they're just they're just having a good vacation, like a. Away from home. Aluka is the treat. original personality. Aluka. Nanika is the wish personality. Yeah. So he's like, apologize to Nanika. It's like, but we got a, I do it whole. No, she's me. If you're mean to her, you're mean to me. Fuck you. <laughs> and it's just this whole sad thing of just like, don't worry, I accept you as my sister as well. The, the, yeah. Yay! It, that it's basically. It's Kilo- a child with infinite power. Yeah. That Kilo, Kilo is also being a child. Having, a lot of to, power. having to adjust how he treats her. That's the worst part watching it of like how painful that is of he's the only one able to actually go in and treat Aluka as a normal person. And meanwhile, you've got the whole other rest of the family that are full grown adults acting like just the worst. The, uh, being so much more immature than literal children. Yeah. And so you get this whole thing where it's like he apologizes to Alika and Nanika and Gon is revived. Yeah, Gon's back Go- to normal. He goes off and... So, uh, to- so so all the stakes and everything, Jinsu, that you were caring about and, Ka- and that was at the end of Chimera and gone now. <laughs> yeah. Devalued. How do you mm. feel? I love Bleach. <laughs> yeah, same. But it's anyway... It's not new. Goes in uh, to the uh, uh, chairman election... And it, it's like, uh, the dog uh, woman, she, uh, she basically stopped uh, her uh, setting in the election, so it was down to Rat Dude and Leorio. Yep. And so, the dog girl, she's uh, she um, is watching this of like, he could actually win. He could actually win if he just keeps pushing. And then, go and walks through the door. And Leorio goes, ah, my reason for running. Go! Runs up, uh, big bro Leorio, uh, to go and real nice reunion and at the same time you're sitting there like ah oh, shit oh so rat. rat dude wins the election and after winning the election uh, uh selects the dog girl as his second in command yeah his vice and says okay first order i'm giving it up to uh the dog girl cheetle <laughs> i give up <laughs> i give up to cheetle and uh, she runs out like after he leaves the room And it's just like, what the fuck? Why did you go through all of this? Why were you just messing with us this whole time? And he says, like, this whole thing of just, like, with Netero, it was never boring. Don't make it boring. (laughs) I'm gonna miss that crazy son of a bitch. Yeah. And the entire time, the rat guy has been such, like, He's just fucking with him. He's been fucking with him the entire time. I'll say that was a fun part of the arc. Just the fact that, like, when you find out, he was just fucking with him. (laughs) Yeah. It's just like the fact that he went through all that effort and it's like, yeah, I was just fucking with you guys. How, how, how do you like a character like that, Jinsu? That, I love those characters. That literally have no stakes at all but do everything possible to get in everybody's way. <laughs> if it's if it's done well, then it's then I like it. If not, then it's annoying and it's like, why do you have this here? <laughs> but we get that whole thing and after the election's all over, we now get... Uh, by the end of the election, there was the whole thing of Gone. he's so excited that he's all fine and he sees in the room of the uh, election where there's all the people everybody oh hi gene hey dad in the front row he's like you're my dad 
Prove it. You're my dad. Damn it. Damn it. He's not ashamed. <laughs> and, just like, and every person in the crowd is my favorite part of all of them yelling, Fucking talk to your son! Yeah, th- this is like the case with like uh, that we were talking about with Thriller Bark. The um, the whole um, the side, uh, the extras being hilarious. <laughs> that was the best part. Like when it came to the comedy of this part, because you have no idea how they're gonna handle this. Of like, it is horrific what he did. Uh, of leaving the, for so long. This is the reason for the entire show happening. It this is the same reason people want Usopp to punch Yasop in the face in <laughs> One Piece. Like, we're waiting for that fight. Probably. The duel. The duel between uh, Yasop and Usopp is just inevitable. Yeah. Because th- of, like, I understand you have your whole reasoning of, like, it called out to me. Go fuck yourself. The sea. You still abandoned your kid. Are you see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why they like ruckuses. That's why Shanks is going to be the final fight, not Blackbeard. It's going to be Shanks. Yeah. But, uh, when it comes to... Uh, the whole encounter with his dad. It's just like, okay, fine. Last quest. Bye. <laughs> Here's your last thing that you gotta do. Climb but... Yggdrasil. Literally just called Yggdrasil. The the world tree. Climb the world tree and then I'll be a dad. Then I'll notice you. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And, and so go, it goes out with Kiloa and Aluka. They, they have a little mini arc of getting up you just so it's a not big for, tree not to forget know. another little random arc that a little, little random trap. episode that popped yeah. in of after gones healed he's like you know what there's other things i gotta do as well before i go see my dad at least one other thing <laughs> i hear kites alive oh yeah oh yeah for half the episode there is an existential debate between kite's new body and the koala from Chimera Ant. What? Remember that koala character? Yeah. Him and, uh, like, Kite, essentially? Remember how New kite, kite was reborn? New Kite. At the end of Chimera Ant? Yeah. Those two have an existential debate about existence. They talk? Yes. Oh, they talk to each other. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They That's talk funny. to each other just talking about life. And there's mentioning of, like, I wasn't sure if souls existed until... This happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just this very, very heated talk of just like, like confessing sins almost. It, it definitely brought up something a lot more exciting to me in a show is not so much bringing back the dead, but just literally just reincarnating the dead that you can't bring back your fallen allies, but you can bring back their soul into someone else new. I think that has grounds for a show that could technically never end. That it's just like, well, it, it it's almost like Avatar, but an entire group of characters. With like the reincarnation, but in an entire group of, of friends. Right. I think that would be a good idea, for, a good show. And it like technically could never end. And so anyway, <laughs> Gon pops in and says, sorry for that you died, and then leaves. <laughs> yeah, Gon has a... Sorry, sorry that you died. Don't blame yourself. Okay, okay. bye. Okay. Real nice and touching, but at the same time, after having that whole thing with the koala, you're just like, uh, why? Uh, <laughs> and so you're just sitting there like, okay, okay. And so move on. And he goes to the world tree. He makes it to the it's basically a, uh, beginning of the world tree. It's a tourist trap. Kilua. Yeah, it's a tourist trap. He goes with uh, Kilua and his sister. And he says, yeah, let's go on. And he, uh, Kilo says, actually, this is where I'm going to say bye for a little bit. At the end of, go- of Hunter x Hunter, uh, Kiloa and Gon split up and go their separate ways as Kiloa decides to go on a little adventure with his sister to connect with her and allow Gon to go on with his father. And it's this really nice, touching moment when you see all their memories flash by the screen. All of these moments that you've definitely seen on screen. <laughs> and, well, yeah, no, because we watched the fucking show. Man. <laughs> yeah. All these moments that we narrated over to you that are getting re-narrated. Again. It's just the music playing in the background as, as they're leaving. And they separate. And Gon begins to climb the world tree. It takes a while. It's... Eventually, he reaches the top. Where it's a terrifying is. tree. Yeah, he reaches the top where his dad is. 
as Dave. well as like three baby birds. Yeah, three giant birds. Don't ask me. It's Hunter Hunter. It's weird. He has a talk with his dad, talking about all the adventures that they both went on, having fun, and by the end of it, it says, we're not done yet. There's plenty more we can do. There's a whole world to experience, and they show the map of the world, and the map that we've seen for all this time expands, and you see a giant continent just outside of it essentially meaning that what the world we've seen so far is an archipelago is the equi- equivalent of an archipelago yep that the world's bigger literally bigger. It's huge yeah so after seeing that whatever the fuck that was the show <laughs> <this world. laughs> the show ends there it's not too much for the plot but, but it's plenty crazy it definitely sets opinion. up a dual season storytelling a story with Gonin, his dad, and Kilua with his sister. Yeah. And basically, whatever happens there, anything can happen. Because we are not anywhere near close to what could be the fun, uh, like exactly what would be the planned finale for Hunter Hunter. What it originally, what its ending probably is, is either really far out or probably not going to happen at all. There's a lot of stuff so far in the manga. And. From what I've seen, it's not bad. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Like, I saw one thing of, like, there's a fight in there that I got to read a bit about. It looks fucking awesome. But, uh, yeah, when it comes to uh, Hunter x Hunter, now that we're finally done with the show, this is less a question about the arc and more a question about the show overall. Just as we did with JoJo, just as we did with uh, any other show. Who is your favorite character in the show? Er, real quick, actually, Jinsu, from what we described of this final arc, would you be willing to go in and watch it a little later on? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Yeah. N- not at all. <laughs> yeah. No. Sounds like shit. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, uh, it, how did it sound? Like, from what we described of, like, some of the story elements. There's definitely a lot that we left out, especially from the Kilua getting a sister to Gon. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of crazy shit. That's most of the arc. Mind you, that's like ten episodes. Yeah. I'd be... That sounds interesting. Not gonna lie. It's definitely if you just want to see the characters, but obviously not on the same storytelling quality of Chimera Ant. That's mm-hmm. the only thing. Yeah, I think I think that's fine. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, so now who's your favorite character in all of Hunter Hunter? Uh, probably Gon. Gon. Yeah. Gon has the best overall story. Yeah. I'm still terrified of him. <laughs> I'm scared as hell of him. That's but... why. <laughs> oh, you get a free one. Okay, cool. Go for you. Sometimes the game does that, yeah. That was so weird. You'll, you'll nut your pants when you get the 777 one, and the game just goes, ah? Uh-huh. All the way to the 7, and you're just like, <laughs> Wait, uh, Duke, who's your favorite character? My favorite character, I would probably say, is. Either it's either like uh, uh, probably Gon, who I'm still scared of, uh, Kilua or Korapika, like those three are the best of just like uh, the way their story goes. <coughs> I mean, in all fairness, when it comes to Korapika, Korapika for a hot second was a main was the, was main, the main character, character yeah, and that's insane to think about. I still love that uh, that arc, yeah. Like that was the first <laughs> major arc that sold me on the show. Yeah, I I think yeah it's between Karapika and actually Kilua because Kilua is while while Kilua is terrifying it makes much more sense while Gon is just like one of those uh uh, uh. <laughs> yeah he's one of those kind of worries meanwhile Kilua is like oh he's an assassin kid who was tortured with tasers all day so now he uses that to go like better and all that kind of stuff. It's just his story makes a lot more sense for why he's so messed up. Yeah. But uh, Karapika, that entire the um the what was the name of that arc again? Election arc. The the Phantom Troop. Phantom oh, Troop. Phantom Troop arc, yeah. It was absolutely insane. And the fact that he was the main character during it. Yeah. Uh So, we're on to final thoughts of Hunter x Hunter overall. What do you think of Hunter x Hunter as a show? As a show, it's definitely a rough start with the entrance exam, exam and um, 
and Greed Island. Like I know, it's like those are not necessarily the start. Like, not exactly. It's basically the start. it's it's a rough go because you've got like the beginning and around the middle are just so ah, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but 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 when you get to Chimera Ant, it's such a drastic change. It's so crazy to me just how much a change that um that what you calls it that Chimera Ant takes. And just how, like, like literally, if if Hunter Hunter was ever made into a movie, I would want Chimera Ant to be like literally just that, just Chimera Ant. Yeah. Uh, but then you don't introduce the characters in like a fun way, and then like so much is missing. Yeah. And, like the reason why they're there is missing, and then you have to change stuff. And that's true, but but also just the storytelling of Chimera Ant. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's yeah, no, it's it's uh, basically it's a rough go, but. At the same time, it's worth the ride. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 110% worth the ride. But, uh... If I, it, if I had to say any final thoughts, I would say, honestly, Hunter x Hunter, while it's not my favorite show, still, once again, has my favorite arc. So, for me, this show, just... It's the one that I would recommend to as many people as possible. Yeah, it's definitely the one that is able to be recommended and be fine. It's also not got much of like the animeisms of like, uh, what's it called? Uh, like the uh, the usual like like it's overly like, uh, like like look at my boobs kind of shit. Yeah, there's not a, there's not as much fan. At service. most, it's like a background character who's got like massive bazongas, and that's about it. The dong dong lagongos. Who's that Dango character? In Hunter, Hunter. I guess it was the vacuum girl in the Phantom Troop. Yeah. Phantom Troop. Uh, Nose. Uh, there was Nose Girl from also the Phantom Troop, uh, who had some massive badongas, and uh, who was it? Uh, uh, bus driver lady from the bus se- from the second season. Just drive the bus, bus driver. Drive the bus, you busty bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. But uh, <laughs> uh, Jinsu, what's your final thoughts on Hunter Hunter as an entire series and all that kind of shit? I'm shitting. No, um, <laughs> it's in. In some ways, it's peak, and in other ways, it's it's a little lacking. <laughs> but it's if I agree. you if you want to see like how a good magic system is structured, then this is the way to go. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It has the best. It, it has system. the best. Ma- it, that's the thing we forget often about it. Of like, there's so many things about like Chimera Ant and um, Election Arc where you're just sitting there like, oh yeah, that's right. It has a good uh d- 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 magic but- system. Oh, God. God almighty. Chimera ends who can use Nen. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's like, it, it definitely is able to ramp up the stakes very well. Yeah. It's a show that has the craziest stakes, I'll say that. Holy shit. Medium rare. Why? <laughs> but, uh, anyway, yeah. do you have a thought with Mayhem? My thought is, would... Would you, if they did fi- uh, continue Hunter Hunter and this next arc after this one is the last one, would you watch it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. But no, it's like, like from what I've heard, uh, like to mention just one character, like Hisuka has a massive oh, fight. Yeah, yeah he arc. he's definitely not been he he's definitely has not had a resolution he definitely has a i forgot to mention that when it came to the arc he had actually one of my favorite moments of Mm -hmm. his friendship with illumi oh yeah like illumi had a whole thing where he was hunting down kilo yeah and he asked um uh hisuka for help and it is the funniest section of the arc just every interaction they have with each other yeah she's like you did that on purpose didn't you maybe the little face he gives and "Mm." (laughs) maybe i did He's such well, a excuse. You guys, you, guys, you, guys, you guys want to know something fun? What? They're married. Really? They're married. Really? Yeah. You're joking, right? No, they're married. Hisoka and Illumi are married. He's investigating. Or like being, they're engaged or whatever. I'm investigating. What? Why is it the first thing? <laughs> why is it the first thing? <laughs> you, know, you know why it's the first thing, motherfucker. We smoking dicks out here. <laughs> 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 Hisoka had contracted me to kill himself. For our engagement ring, he gave me a prenup where if he dies, I still collect my reward. Till death do us part. <laughs> and that's why I'm always trying to kill him. This, we are, both he and I are very serious about this. That is why I do not know his location. 
<laughs> That's why I don't know where the fuck he is. They're engaged. <laughs> Chapter 377. Three, have we even gotten there yet? It's not a mistranslation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tripping balls. Or am I? What the fuck? <laughs> One of the greatest mysteries of this century, somebody says. Hell yeah. Is they gay? Or is they nay? Is they nay? Or are they gay? <laughs> All right. That's holy shit. That's All right. hilarious. What's next, Duke? What's, I... a, what's a long running series of that is a. Pillar of anime that is considered a pillar of anime that we're going to be talking what about comes next. After this, what comes after Mario this? and Luigi. <laughs> Bowser's inside story. Gow- Bowser comes out the call, does it? Next, you're watching a show about ninjas. Ninjas? I thought they were wizards. We recorded a part one for us. Oh, well, thank you everybody so much for listening. Well, if you want more, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Jinsu, anything else? Beans. Beans, 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 beans. Beans. The fuck was that? Brains, brains, my oh my. All right then. Cool. Bye bye. Did you not? Did you not know that song from Billy and Mandy? I need to rewatch Billy and Mandy. The little, uh, little uh, shop of horrors. uh, Rip off. (laughs) If you want to see more of our content, you can find our YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter on our link tree at linktree slash green villains. That's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash green villains.